right, what we got this afternoon here up in Maine at Brian's Guitar Rehab and Customs. Hey, I get to use my name there the first time I've done that in a video. This is one of those Harmony Arch Tone 1213, H1213 uh, Arch Tops. They usually have the pinstripes on them and the painted on binding, and they really got that sort of 60s, I don't know, Art Deco-ish look, which I hate to say it, I kind of hate. Anyway, these are, um, there's a whole bunch of these around. You see them on Reverb and eBay and stuff all the time. And they were kind of an entry level, you know, jazz box from my youth. I knew some people that had these. I thought they were really cool. So I picked this one up and I did one of my resto mods on it. And what I mean by that is I like to restore things, but modernize it a little bit, change a little bit of technology, see if I can get it to sound better. So what I did with this one is I pulled the back off and I got inside the guts of it and I shaved down the two parallel braces that run down the top because they were thick. They were like, they look like one by, you know, uh, trim molding. So I shaved those down. I saw it on Benedetto's website and brought them kind of pointy and, uh, you know, pyramid shaped. And I glued up the back braces that were loose. And then I scraped all the paint off where it used to be painted binding. And I put regular ABS cream colored binding on it. And then I decided to get rid of the pinstripe. So I did my own lacquer sunburst on it, kind of going for that 30s Gibson look. While I was working on that, I set reset the neck and was cleaning up the fretboard and doing some fret dressing. And I noticed that this is a maple fretboard that has been colorized to look like rosewood. Well, the cool thing about it is that when I scraped off the paint off the edge of the fretboard, it kind of looks like maple binding now, so it's pretty cool. I also whittled down the neck from the big giant half of a fence post baseball bat that it was, and it is now sort of a modified V-shape, sort of like an old Gibson. It's got the original tuners, original bridge, tailpiece, nut, all that's the same. And you know, it's kind of a jazzy blues guitar. guitar nice playing um good little bluesy jazz sound and uh boy it's like you know 10 percent of what an l5 would cost of course it's not an l5 but anyway thanks for watching see ya